Hi guys, welcome back to 10 points in 10 minutes today with my gorgeous guest, Cassie Holland. Cassie, welcome to my show. Great to be here. Thank you for having me. How are you? I'm very, very well. 10 points in 10 minutes. So the first point I would like to bring up is that you have to own it, whatever it is, you have got to own it. And then once you own it, you can fix it, whatever it is, but you have to admit that there's an issue. You got to own it. Um, once you own it, then you can fix it. And then once you fix the problem, you have to live it every day, every moment of every day, you have to live that decision you make. Um, when you make that decision, you're the only person that changes. You're the only thing that changes. So you can't get upset when nobody else understands because they're not making that change. You are. So you have to be able, you have to have faith in your strength to be able to follow through with your plan. Um, recovery has to be selfish. It has to be all about you. It can't be about your mom or your dad or your boss or your kids. It has to be about you because you're the one with the addiction. You're the one that needs to be fixed. Not everybody else. Um, baby steps. You have to take little steps because thinking that you can fix all of your problems in one day is ridiculous. Nobody can do that. Not one person on the planet can go fixed. <laughs> it just doesn't work like that. Um, don't beat your own ass. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody trips. Everybody falls. The judgment is not in falling. It's about getting up. You know, can you get back up? Can you keep going? Can you recover through that stumble? Um, applaud your very own accomplishments. You can't, your accomplishments have to come from your heart and they have to mean something to you. And if nobody else applauds that accomplishment, that's okay because it wasn't for them. That wasn't their goal. That wasn't their mission. That wasn't their path. So you can't, you can't be upset and you have to applaud yourself because sometimes you're your very best friend. Um, get out of your head. The very best way to stop focusing on yourself is to start focusing on someone else. So if you can get out of your own head and find a way that you can help someone or talk to someone or, you know, go get groceries for your neighbor or Whatever it is, get out of your own head because you're also, aside from being your best friend, you're your own worst enemy. And most importantly, forgive yourself because forgiveness is where it starts. Forgiveness is where healing starts. Once you start to forgive yourself, then you can heal from the things that you've done to yourself. You know, you've done... You can do things to other people and people, you know, they say, oh, forgive and forget. Nobody forgets. You might let it go, but you don't forget because people don't remember what you did. They remember how you make them feel, right? So you have to separate that and forgive yourself for the actions that you took in making that process happen. And once that happens, healing comes easy. And I don't think I took a whole 10 minutes, but... I don't oh. think it takes a whole 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Cassie Holland, uh, you are the master in distilling the facts down. And I, I love you for it. It is <laughs> normally we always want to talk, 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 talk. But all of your points are so important. And if people could just truly take them to heart and actually work with them, without any omission, without any exception. Everything everything yeah. you said is so important for my, my recovery. It was important for yours. These are the key, Absolutely. key, key things. Cassie, thank, thank you. you so much for sharing your wisdom with my, my viewers. Cassie Holland, Absolutely. love you to bits. You look after yourself. And you guys out there, you stay too. strong. Bye. <laughs>